for St. Patrick's Day. Hi, Lori. Yeah, and if you think going to a Mexican restaurant is a no-no on St. Patrick's Day, you are so wrong. Habanero Hots has a special drink, and their famous corned beef tacos, you can only get them for five days. We're making those and drinks coming up. All the stops. Lori Wallace live in Lodi this morning at a hot spot <laughs> that is doing just that. Good morning. Yes, good morning, you guys. Habanero Hots. Now, if you've never been here, Mexican restaurant, probably wouldn't think to come here for St. Right. Patty's Day. Not at all. Oh, but you really should. And okay. I'm going to show you oh, why you say so. this hour and coming up at 9 o'clock. So, first of all, you need to make friends with Evan. She's behind the bar. She's making your drinks for St. <laughs> Patty's Day. Evan, what's the drink special? All right, so we have a featured tequila here. It's actually habanero hot tequila, and um, we're going to do a Paloma, basically. Oh, so okay. it's pretty simple, pretty easy, straightforward, um, which you can find it here all week long. So it's uh, we're going to do just a little tequila. Just a little bit? Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, Midori for the green, it is St. Patty's Day. Yeah, you got to oh, have yeah, all, all green know. drinks. Right, and right. we have to mention they do grow their own lemon and limes out back. Absolutely. Okay. And then for the Paloma, of course, fresh squeezed grape juice. Grapefruit juice. All there right. you go. Looks good. And sweeten it up. We're going to do a simple syrup. All right. And a fresh squeezed lime. Okay. And that's from it. the orchard. That's it. From that the orchard. Right here. <laughs> Absolutely. So the drinks are special. The food is special too. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But this is a big celebration. So they kick off five days of a taco that has really made people crazy around here. Okay. <laughs> it's a corned beef taco. Oh. Corn beef tacos. Sorry, you might think I'm beef? not a big fan of corn beef. Oh, corn no. beef tacos. Yes. That's so, in talk. addition to the drink, they're serving those tacos for five days, and they've really caught on. So, as I deliver this drink, do you mind, Evan? You're I'm going to go hand this off. Yeah, There's good. someone here that actually likes these kind of drinks early in the morning. <laughs> Steve over here. His birthday happens to be on St. Patrick's Day. We're oh, giving him a little early okay. start. Cheers to you. <laughs> uh, but John is back here in the kitchen, and this is where all the magic happens with those tacos. John, this all started kind of as a joke, yeah, but it's yeah. just grown. It's, bl it's blown up. Right. About 15 years ago, the local newspaper was doing a story on restaurants serving corned beef, and we got a call uh, if we do anything, and I thought, well, yeah, we do tacos, and I told him. So then I rushed into the kitchen, told our chef, hey, we got to create you know, a, a unique uh, taco out of corned beef. And that's how the, the legend started. So now it's kind of like a cult following. We serve thousands of pounds of corned beef over our five day. It's grown from one day to two days to three days. Now we're doing it for five days. So come on down. Are you cutting it off at five or are you going to keep on going? We're done at five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> done at five. So coming up next hour, we're actually going to make the tacos, see what all the madness is about. John tells me that people actually plan their vacations to come back home, people that are from around here during taco time. Wow. That's how serious it is. So you're going to get to see these tacos <laughs> coming up next. <laughs> Cannot wait, Lori. All right. Tacos for St. Patrick's Day. Okay. All right. There's something new there. Well, talk about hands-on learning. New at nine, the seventh graders who designed a working